Hello guys, welcome to back CUN TTC Trading Channel. Apna der ke shagotom. Bondra, aske ami niyeshi chhi. American ek madam. Samsung 52 inch LED TV. Repairing korar process. To madam. अनेक शुंदर करे बाउन्ड इंची सैमसंग एलईडी टीवीटी रिपेयरिंग करें चाहें एवं ये वीडियो डी अपना दरमाज़ जाइए इसके तुले दरबो एवं अपना ज़रा हमारे चैनल है नो तुन तारा अब शुरू ही सब्सक्राइब करे रख बेन पास तक का बेल आइकॉन टी बाजी रख बेन पसंद दौला लाइक कर बेन बाबालो अनेक उत्साह हो बेरे जावे एवं अपना तेरे माजे अनेक वीडियो दवार इच्छा जाते जो जब अपना कमेंट ना करे ताहले वीडियो और कुछ वक्त एक टा मनोजोग आशे तो बंदर को थवारा वो ना चलन शुरू करी आज के अमेरिकन मेडा में ट्यूटोरियल um, what is it? A LED or TV? Uh, so, what it's doing? Uh, you turn the power on, and it does power up, but then within a few seconds it shuts down. Uh, you can hear it load up, and it has a little sound. Like, doo -doo -doo, you know. I don't want to go ahead and plug it back in now because it's already been sitting for a few days. I was waiting on the capacitors and such to come in, but. I want to see if I can show you guys how to solder, um, and this is a little more, well it's different from the, the automotive. I know somebody was asking on how to solder and make a video on how to solder, or at least how I do it, so now I have already diagnosed it. Uh, I found capacitors on the, I guess, inverter side, the inverter board, the main power board, uh, to be blown up to be failed so I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the power board but I want to go ahead and, and use a vacuum cleaner to clean up all this dust it's quite filthy and I, I'm a germaphobe <laughs> so guys stick around and I'll show you what I do Okay, so the first thing I'm going to uh, do is uh, discharge of capacitors. Uh, this is a way of doing it. I don't know if it's the best way. So um, right now I have the meter set to DC voltage, 1000, because I think the capacitors are for 450. I don't have a good angle to see what's written. on the back side and I can't see, of course. I see a four and a five and a, so instead of going down to the next lowest setting, which would be 200, I just went to a thousand. I should bring my fluke, but I just use this instead uh, and the leads are not in the best condition. So I'm gonna raise that up and raise that up. Hopefully I have the best. There. Um, I'm going to use a resistor in line here. Uh, this is where I get most of my electrical stuff here. Um, so that would be Newark Element. And I think the website is newark.com. They have a large array. Solder sucker. Uh, a lot of capacitors fell out. Oh, good. 10 volt, 10 volt. That thing open again? Yeah. Of course it did. 
Goodness. All right, here's a resistor that I want to use. Um, this guy, I think, is 20, 20,000 ohms. Yeah, 20,000 ohms um, and six and a half watts. Put that to the side. So I'm going to do first is go ahead. Um, are kind of close together, so does it matter? Eh. I don't know if I could just use the I guess I'll need uh, another lead. Okay, so I'm gonna put my leads on here first uh, of the meter. Oh, uh, orientation doesn't matter, but this allows me to know if the capacitor is discharged or if it is discharging at the time I'm hooking this up so the one leg is there so I'm gonna go here either end of the resistor in line. So I'm using the, the end, the filament, of the one end of the resistor, and then using the alligator uh, clip as my opposite end. I'll zoom you in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going like this. And that's a pair right there. Capacitors on here. You know, the little other guys are 16 volt. Which is here. And I'm just going to measure them out for the heck of it. Let's see if there's anything there. Um, CM 851. Okay, it's CM. That's capacitor 851. Boom. That's one of the ones I have to uh, go ahead and remove. And what I like doing is using a Sharpie and marking where I'm gonna go and uh, remove. Actually, let me bring you a little bit closer. I'm hoping you have a good picture. Um, I'll keep you right over my shoulder, how about that? One of the things I gotta do, I'm gonna start off with 700 degrees on here. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with 700 and uh, about 725 degrees or so. These are pretty big pins. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how hard the, the solder is. One of the things to watch out for to see if there's any kind of enamel uh, being placed on top of. The capacitor. Sometimes they do, and then you have to remove the enamel off first because then the solder is not going to do its thing. Uh, 
Sie mich an. straighten up the pins here a little bit. They are usually bent over a little bit to aid in installing. But now that we're trying to remove it, I'd rather uh, straighten them up. And first thing is just removing the solder. Capacitor from the other end here. Very loose. There we go. And that's out. These are uh, directional, okay? You have the cathode and uh, the anode. And they are marked positive, negative, okay? And now I'm gonna go to the next one now. I'm gonna disolder. Okay, so we're back here at the store, and I got the capacitors in. You know what? I should turn the light on so people can see. Turn it behind you. Okay. And I said sorry. Yeah. Okay. So what I have are 35 volt. measurements and everything, but goodness gracious. Okay, I should be good anyway. Got you. So I put those there. The pitch is fine. Boom, boom. Anyway, because these have a, a higher voltage reading uh, or capacitance, so uh, and uh, less likely to blow prematurely. Now I have the same fired reading, uh, reading 
of a thousand. So this is comparing the old and new. So I just got done cleaning the board here with my flux, no clean uh, flux here, I'll have to clean afterwards. Typically the flux is acidic and it will continue to oxidate the board, which is no good. solder that I'm using. Uh, quick draw, rosin core. Kester. Uh, this has a lower temp uh, melting point than typical rosin core. The second one, I know that uh, it doesn't quite fit and it's kind of, uh, put you out. It's kind of uh, tipping backwards a little bit here from the side view. That's not a big deal. Uh, apparently, some got replaced as well, it looks like, and these are small capacitors and they have it floating as well, so I don't see a big deal. It fits within the cover of the, t the television, and that's what I'm concerned about. And it's not touching anything else. Should be fine. Let's go ahead and uh, solder this guy here. And then we'll go ahead and uh, test, put it back together and test it on the, the TV. Yeah, just go like that. Hmm.
What I'm doing now is wiggling to make sure that the solar joints itself are solid and that they do appear. Here, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall it. We just brought it over, reinstall the screws, Let's see what else it may need or whatever. All I know that this is one of the things that was wrong. Is it the only thing that's wrong? So it's kind of easy to tell where they go. This guy, obviously there. This is going to work. I have it connect HDMI cable to a little laptop that's sitting on top of the counter here. I'm turn on the power and see what it does. <laughs> I don't know how this uh, works here. Or if I need like a certain driver for it. I don't know. So right now it's on HDMI 4. Maybe I can just switch it over to 4. Let's see. 1, 2, 3. Always right down the side. Notice that. Okay. So I have it connected to a laptop here. I tried doing different things, but what I will show you, let me see. The buttons are hidden here. Touch screen. Picture. Complete picture. No lines. That's awesome. Right there. That's something. And I'm trying to search for a PC signal there. Cable. PC. It does detect against the connection in there. Can't see. Alright, so I finally got the uh, laptop hooked up to the TV. 
just to prove the display works and it works well. I am happy. Ana María, ¿quieres jugar el juego? So we have Nancy Drew here. My daughter likes to play. Now we know it works. So, buenísimo. Bien claro. Buenísimo. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps somebody. Anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I know this isn't. Uh, I know this isn't automotive related, but it might help somebody who so cool. has a TV that's broke. Not necessarily this may be the issue, but this could be an issue. And there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. And don't forget about Super Saturday coming up. So I'm continue promoting that until we go ahead and, and, and pass that day. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Adios, mucho gusto. Gracias por mirar. Continue promoting until we cross that. Uh, that, that, that. ¿Cómo se dice esa mierda? Until we cross that, what, line? Until we cross that the day until we cross that so I'm gonna continue promoting that